G'day Hammerheads, welcome back to the bench. Uh, we are following up on our recent video of head-to-head -head with Milwaukee M12 versus M18. This time we're looking at runtime and a few other performance characteristics, so uh, stick around, let's, uh, let's get stuck into it. So this is like a companion video to the recent performance test where I went through their specs and stuff. So if you want to see that one first, go check that out. Otherwise, uh, basically what we're doing here, so we've got the M12CH uh, from Milwaukee and, and the M18BH, or if you're in North America, they're called something else. I can never remember those numbers. So for these tests, I like uh, seeing how long their batteries last while just drilling in granite. And why granite? Well, because I'm a rock climber, I need to know how many batteries I've got to lug up the mountain uh, to install these guys. And so for that, I do 12 millimeter bit by 70 millimeters deep. Uh, and I use these guys. I'm told that's pronounced Detroit, not Detroit. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, live and learn. And um, basically these guys, they're, they're quite a good bit. They come in these multi-packs, you know, they're pretty good quality, but they're cheap enough that I can buy a new one every time. So big block of granite out the back, and basically I just go until these guys uh, run out of battery. Cool off the bit every time uh, in some water. So first up is the M12. Let's see how she goes. So next up is the M18. Now this guy is rocking a five amp hour battery compared to the four amp hour on the little one, uh, but we will worry about that later. Okay, so nicely done from the M12CH. We ended up with, just ignore these ones out here, they're calibration holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. About a half for that last one. Nice work. All right, so M18BH did very well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, point one. Nice one. Alrighty, so very nicely done. Uh, even though this is a brushed tool and it's a pretty old model, she still did pretty well. 20.1 of those holes in granite. And the little M12 got 13 and a half. So yeah, not too bad. Now, of course, these two drills are using different capacity batteries. That was a five amp hour, that was a four amp hour. And, uh, you know, you can't always get the same. So I do also do a efficiency per amp hour. So that's basically just the holes divided by the amp hours. And we ended up with uh, 2.7 holes per amp hour for the M12 and 4.02 holes per amp hour for the M18. Not super surprising seeing as this is still a brushed motor and all the rest of these are brushless. And this is the, uh, this is the only 12 volt we've got on the chart so far. So yeah, you, you do expect it to not be as powerful. So the next measure we can get out of this is another speed drill. So basically just time up the first, you know, three or four holes that they do while the batteries are still nice and fresh. And uh, let's see how they go.
All right, so it's a speed. Uh, once again, it's great to get some red on here, but once again, it's down the end. So the M18BH was 41.18 seconds, a bit leisurely drilling those holes, while uh, bringing up the behind is the little M12, 44.21. And of course, we can crunch those numbers even more so if we just do a rough estimate of the runtime. So that's like the, f the, the, the average of the first few runs by the number of holes. Uh, we end up with 12.2 minutes of runtime for the uh, the M18, the biggest on the chart so far. And then right in the middle, we've got the M12 with 8.6 minutes. So that's not too shabby, actually, given that's a 4 amp hour battery. Uh, and this is a brushed tool. I mean, to have the most runtime for a brushed tool and all the rest of these are brushless, like that's actually pretty damn impressive. The Milwaukee batteries really do seem to put out for a long time. So if we just take a listen to that footage again, Yeah, you can you can hear that by hole sort of 14, 15, it's starting to wind down. Uh, and that's, you know, basically just because it's an older, an older brushed motor, you know, they do that. With brushless motors, they tend to go and go and go and then really drop off sharply towards the end, you know, in the last maybe 10% of the battery or so. Uh, but with the older style brush motors, that happens a lot sooner, maybe the last quarter of the battery, something like that. Uh, and you can really hear that in the footage there. And the last thing I like to do with these runtime tests, since we got the hammers running nice and hot, is basically break out the old heat camera, see how hot they are. Oh, that reminds me. How warm is this? Oi, starting to warm up. You know what they say, she's getting warm, you're drinking too slow. So at the end of the testing, I do just take an image when they're nice and hot. Um, little M12, she actually ended up with, the hottest spot was on the chuck here, where this red cross here is, 52 degrees Celsius. Uh, what is it, Fahrenheit? Yeah, there you go, Fahrenheit. And the M18 actually ended up with 59.4 degrees Celsius. And check that out. The distribution is actually a bit different with this one because this is a brush tool. It's got a bigger motor. That does seem to actually get hot. So you, you actually got your hotter spot in the motor down there. Whereas on this guy, it's the chuck. Uh, and if we look at the, uh, these are the Hikokis. Yeah, hotter, hotter spot was up sort of near the hammer mechanism chuck area motors back here so i mean these brushless motors they are going to be heating up but they're they're not as big and you know they don't have this big metal case so i guess they're not touching the outside of the shell yeah so you can see a big metal case in there that's uh that's going to be heating up too this is a brush motor so it will heat up more it's not like the brushless motors don't heat up uh it's just that this is a bigger mass of metal in here it's probably also touching the case uh, a bit closer so yeah interesting but Let's see how they rank. And if we compare that to the other hammers, we actually see some pretty good results. So M18BH being 59.4 degrees, I mean, that's not too bad. That's a lot cooler than Makita, a little bit cooler than some of these other guys. So, you know, considering it's a brushed motor, uh, you know, I'm pretty impressed with how this little guy handled it. Now I did find this heat result actually pretty interesting myself because the uh, M12 here, she was actually doing the Christmas lights. Uh, a bunch of times when I was drilling, so I had to kind of pause halfway through and uh, let it cool down. Now this this Christmas lights here, that means that the battery is actually overheating because that's a battery indicator. It can be just because your uh, your thermocouple contact is dirty, um, but it didn't seem to be the case. I mean, that's all pretty good. And uh, yeah, you can induce that flashing by just covering that up. Um, but you know, it doesn't look too dirty. In fact, looks pretty damn clean in there. Looks pretty clean in there. So I do believe that was actually due to the battery actually being, you know, a bit too hot. So if we go back to the uh, the thermal image, we can see that, yeah, on this one, the battery is actually heating up, whereas on the M18, the battery isn't. Uh, so eh, anyway, you know, it was a bit annoying during the testing, but I guess that's a good thing because um, Milwaukee does take their battery protection pretty seriously. You know, they do seem to have good runtime and good longevity. Um, so for example, this is my very first drill of my own. Uh, it was actually a hand-me-down. Um, it was already flogged to death when I got it in about 2013, and it's from 2011. Um, you know, these batteries, little one and a half amp hours. Still work okay. Obviously they're not as uh, punchy as a bigger one or a newer one, but 
still do, do the job, you know. I still, I still do use this one for some stuff if I can ever get it out. So there you go. Uh, Milwaukee does seem to take their battery, uh, their battery condition very seriously, and these guys do get good runtime, good lifetime. Uh, that said, I am really looking forward to the brushless version of this. Sorry, the fuel. It'd it'd be fuel, you know. And you know what? Maybe this guy too. Um, I wouldn't be surprised now that there's a bunch of other little tiny hammers like this on the market. They might maybe uh, beef it up a little bit because they've gone, well, you know, people seem to uh, handle this thing okay with one hand. Maybe we could give it a bit more juice. Um, but anyway, guys, there you go. I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, something that I really like doing. And yeah, you know, the granite, the whole granite thing, it is a little unconventional, I guess, but uh, hey, I'll do concrete at some point too. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and from... Uh, Actually, what, what are we going to call these guys? We need nicknames. Hit us up in the comments. Anyway, from the little red and the little uh, red, uh, that's it from us. So, uh, scratch later, guys. Yeah.